So allergenic stem cell transplantation is the only curative treatment approach for patients with myelofibrosis. Also, we know uh, that there is a relevant risk for treatment-related mortality and uh, morbidity. So it is necessary to carefully select these patients. First, we will have to look at the disease risk. We want to identify uh, patients which are short-term survivors and there are established risk factors like the DIPS and DIPS plus and um, they were extended by molecular data. We have this classical high molecular risk markers like ASXL1, ECH2, um, IDH1 and IDH2 which are implemented in the mutational enhanced IPSS and uh, which uh, are a decision tool for selecting patients for transplantation. And uh, interestingly, there are some new data um, uh, published by Nico Gagelmann et al. Um, who, find, uh, who found that uh, um, multi-hit TP53 mutation um, uh, also portends a very poor prognosis in myelofibrosis, as we already knew from MDS patients, but it's the same in myelofibrosis. And uh, there are also RAS pathway mutations uh, with a adverse impact on overall survival. So these patients um, should be uh, recommended to underwent uh, stem cell transplantation and maybe this new data will guide to a refinement of the classical high molecular risk markers. So this is one disease risk. On the other hand, we have to look for patient factors or for transplant factors. That means we have to look if we have a donor available. And um, there is also a score published uh, by the Hamburg group, the myelofibrosis transplant scoring system, the MTSS, uh, which incorporates molecular data and clinical and the transplant um, relevant factors and it predicts overall survival after transplantation and treatment related survival. So you have the disease risk on the one hand and the treatment related mortality and you have to weigh it against for each patient and of course uh, you have to consider the patient desire. Um, so some patients are a little bit hesitant with uh, upfront transplantation um, and um, yes.